What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about some camp gear, some old retro Coleman camp gear. It's springtime and that means that things are warming up and people are gonna start going out camping, uh, especially with the Memorial Day weekend coming up. Uh, we're gonna go camping up in the uh, Eastern Sierras, the backside of Yosemite, uh, Tioga Pass, um, Mammoth, June Lakes area. We're gonna be out there camping and exploring. And um, I thought it'd be fun to bust out the old Coleman um, gear. And uh, cause this stuff is kind of like retro. Nobody really uses this stuff anymore. Well, I guess a lot of people still use them, but um, a lot of the younger crowd, they don't use these uh, types of um, camping gear anymore. Cause it's just kind of outdated, big, bulky metal, you know, uses gas fuel. Whereas everybody uses everything electrical now and it's all plastic and electric and lightweight and compact which I get it, those are, those are cool, but there's something to be said about these old Coleman lanterns and stoves made out of steel and glass and used gas. Um, if you're like me, uh, you like a good deal at the Goodwill store, or maybe you find something on Facebook Marketplace and you'll see these things for sale for like $10 or $20. Um, I say pick them up and fix them, clean them off, oil them up, put them back together. There's YouTube videos that show you how to do that. There's even websites that sell the small parts to get these things back to running. Uh, but once you do get them running, they're actually really cool retro uh, pieces of equipment that um, are just, I don't know, I keep saying it. They're, they're just really cool, man. All right, so both of these uh, items here both use Coleman camp fuel, which is essentially just white gas or a gas that um, doesn't put out a lot of uh, weird odors. I believe, again, I'm no expert, but I believe that these models here, these are from the 70s and 80s, I believe, and these can use both um, white gas or camp fuel, or you can use um, regular unleaded gasoline right from your vehicle. So that's kind of cool. It's kind of like a, a prepper piece of equipment. And again, for both of these models, um, you're gonna need a some kind of a lighter, so you could use the, the wooden matchstick lighters or you could use one of these barbecue lighters. I use this because it's a little bit safer, keeps you at a distance. Um, let's start with the uh, stove first. All right, so uh, this is the Coleman 425E made in Wichita, Kansas, USA, which is kind of nice. It's made out of metal. I believe this is uh, thin gauge sheet metal steel. It's got a little lock here. It actually has a little carry handle, like a suitcase handle right here. And that's pretty much it. There's not a lot going on on this thing. You got your lid with your wind guards. They could also be considered splash guards, I guess, but they have these little locks right here and you can just slide them into the slots and those will keep, keep the wind from blowing your, uh, your fire around or your food around in general. You have all the instructions right here to, uh, to light the main burner here. So it has all the steps. There's only eight steps for the most part on how to do this. Uh, your, your grill is on a hinge. All your gear is stowed on the inside. You have a main burner and a auxiliary burner. Um, again, I don't know the exact nomenclature of all these things, but um, I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> um, here's your, this is your fuel tank or gas tank. And they're usually painted red, but I've seen them painted other colors too. There's your fill nozzle. You'll just unscrew this to uh, use a, f uh, a funnel to put your white gas in. I uh, highly recommend using a funnel because it'll just spill all over the place. But if it does spill, um, it, dry, it like evaporates really quick. Um, you got these two tabs right here that interface with these two slots. And it just goes right through this hole here and you insert it literally just like that. So how those tabs hold it right there. This is called the uh, generator. That tube right there is called the generator. I don't know why it's called the generator, but maybe because it generates um, a gas to a vapor, I would assume, I don't know. But you can see the, the tube actually runs right across the, the primary flame burner. And it's done like that on purpose to heat the gas before it goes into this little chamber here. Uh, how this thing works here is you have a, a little pump, a hand operated pump. And here's your valve to close it. it is clockwise to open it is counterclockwise. It even says right there open. It has a little 
um, arrow. It's not too difficult to understand. I'm not even exactly sure what this is called, but it tells you that this um, little arm here has to be in the up position to start it or to light. So up to light and then down when you have it lit. And now you're gonna pump this. I believe it says to pump, I think it even says right here, uh, pump 35 to 50 strokes. All right, so you'll see this little knob right here. You can actually close the valve by turning it clockwise and locking it in the closed position so no gas pressure can get out. Or you can go counterclockwise and unlock it, just like that. And then you put your thumb over this little hole. It's like a little vent hole right there. You put it over that and then you just pump and you'll feel some pressure if the valve is working properly. Once it's uh, kind of hard and gives you resistance, you'll just turn it clockwise to lock it in place. Once that's counterclockwise in the locked position, you're gonna open your valve and you'll hear bubbling. You hear that? Probably not. So I'll close it back up again. And then you'll just take your lighter, light it up like this, and then open the valve. Boom, there we go. All right, so when you initially start it, the flame will be um, a tall yellow flame. All right, so the instructions say here to let it burn yellow like this until it heats up that generator. Once it does heat it up and the flames turn blue, you'll turn this little lever down. So it's still burning yellow. We'll give it a minute here. It probably takes a few minutes to actually turn blue. All right, so as you can see, the flame is a nice, blue flame. So you're going to turn the uh, little arm down like it says to do and then just adjust the height of your uh, your flame. So you can boil water, cook potatoes and eggs, bacon and sausage, whatever the case may be, but there you go. So if you want to light the auxiliary burner, what you'll do is you'll just uh, light your uh, lighter and then turn the knob on this side over here and boom, it comes on just like that. And you don't have to uh, wait for the uh, generator warm up and turn blue on this side because it's already preheated on this side already. The only downside is you can only use the right hand side as your primary. You can't use the left only. You have to use the right only or right and then the, uh, the backup. So I don't know exactly how long this tank will last. It could probably last a whole weekend just on this tank alone but I would still bring uh, an extra bottle of white gas just so you have enough to make you through the whole camp weekend. All right, to shut it down, you'll just uh, close the valves. So I'm gonna close the auxiliary one and the flame will go out. So it's closed. And then for this one, I'm gonna close the valve and the flame will die down. Now there's still some residual gas inside the, the pipes. So it's just burning off the residual gas, even though the valve is closed. So you just give it a few minutes and the whole thing will just die down. And then um, once everything's cooled down, you can put everything away. You don't want to put all this stuff away when everything's still hot. All right, guys, so that's a quick tutorial on my camp stove. I'll do a separate video on how to light the Coleman lantern. But if you enjoyed this video and it helped you uh, figure this stuff out, <laughs> hit that like button to support my channel. I appreciate it. it, helps me out a lot. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about these old Coleman camp stoves. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care, have fun.